whirling winds of change. Test how deep we've sown our seeds. We shall not be moved. Uh -uh. Yeah, do your work, sow your seeds. Push that planting stick deep. Drop in the corn. Let it grow in the desert. Sustenance. Sustenance. And that's what today's Gua is about. The Gua, the I Ching, the section, the hexagram. To tap into the wisdom of the Taoist philosophy and thought. And we come to listen to be taught. There's always room for more, always room to know more, and certainly always room to be more. This week it's number 12, Pai, being separate, decline. The trigram above, three solid lines, heaven, energy, spirit, power, all young. The lines below, the center of the earth, responsiveness, broken lines, feminine. In this hexagram, the feminine supports the masculine. Yin supports yang. The wisdom says, in times of discontent, self-sustenance and humility are advantageous. You have no influence. Oh, keep that in mind this week. Be into yourself, into your humble self. For to the outside, you ain't going to be heard. And that's good. Because you know that the one you got to listen to is number one. That's you. It is of utmost importance that when consulting the I Ching, you do not look to the past, but you remain fully in the present. And that's what this week is about. This reading is not for what is coming, nor for what has recently transpired. This reading applies to now. Not yesterday, not even a few minutes ago. As the cycle unfolds, only now exists. That's right. On your chosen path towards accomplishing goals and desires, you've come to obstacles. Yeah, we do. The correct action is to stop. For you see, the action of stopping is an advantage. As this turn of the great wheel asks us to hold still and look only to yourself for wisdom, for sustenance, for comfort, and for compassion. You got a surprise. Your obstruction came out of nowhere. It hasn't been gradual. You haven't slowed down and got ready for it. So you may react like you've been under attack and feel you've got to confront what's blocking you, who's blocking you, and that is not the action right now, not the appropriate action. The work, capital W, now will be accomplished by looking within for the sustenance and for the energy that we need to maintain our physical, our emotional, and our spiritual equilibrium. And this is what's important now. Not to go to battle, but to move in sacred stillness. Oh, 
So there you are. You've hit a block and a lot of stuff's coming at you. So you consider joining with this group that's made their way towards you because it looks like they're going to make this road easier for you and you won't be so lonely. And they tell you of riches and being honored and being heard. Uh Uh-uh, that's false. It's a trick of the ego. Should you join with this milieu, they will take you. They'll take you into their game, no doubt about that, but it's a game. Not a benefit, it's not a path of honor. If you are able to ask them, why do you behave in such a manner? The answer would shock you. In one way, they, you know, they, (laughs) they will say, ah, because I can. Oh, and that isn't that it. Power is exerted, why? For what reason? And oftentimes, if you ask the question, ask the hard questions, right? You'll hear, because I can. Ouch. Hmm. Note well. These souls are playing in their own game. Let them have their game. Leave it to them. For were you to join with them, this confused configuration of souls, even in cordiality, you'd be destined to fall. You'd be destined to fail. You're advised. And to continue of what you know is correct. What is the correct way of behavior, the correct way of action? Don't be taken off your track. Just because they're going to try to make it look easier for you because sometimes it just ain't easy. Knowing that obstacles such as the ones that you're encountering, they're temporary. They'll fade. And it'll cause you to go into retreat, and that's good. Because when you come out of retreat, you're going to make your own moves of correctness. You will have new found strength of purpose. Do nothing. Do nothing other than make these moments of full stop. Make them useful, right? This period of stillness and retreat will allow you to access what you have learned, what you've studied, what you've embraced, what you've gained. It is in you waiting to be accessed right there. Relationships and associations. It can be really challenging during this cycle that this Quaz talking about. You see, the benefit is not to engage in any conflict. No battles, no arguments. If you do, the outcome is not going to be beneficial, and it's possible that you'll destroy what will, in the near future, create benefit, right? As you make your way to your personal goals, there are times when you come across dark souls. Dark souls who are a reflection of your shadow. People with little humility or integrity. You know they're not your soul tribe. And guess they could be useful. Hmm. That's the trick. Be cautious about with whom you associate, careful with who you roll with, brothers and sisters. And at this point, limit your social intercourse to where you feel trust. If you try, in these challenging times, to engage outside your trusted circle, you would be met with misunderstanding and met with discord. It's cool to go into retreat for a while. Just stay in with an open heart. And as we say, chill. Just be chill right now. There will be temptations to use your energy, to use your ideas, to use your creativity to assist a person or a project or a commercial enterprise that has been languishing in difficult straits. And it's tempting because the ideal of what you could accomplish is stirring your passion. And you know you can do it, and you can do it, but be cautious. Consider this well, as this might be a seduction, and not a seduction that you want to mate with. Might be a move to rob you of a rarefied moment when you assert 
and find your confidence in your self-reliance and your inner strength because that's what's in the storehouse of love. To venture into what is on offer at this moment, that would, could be folly, likely is. And all the effort, all the time, all the love, all the resources that you might throw at it would vanish, never to be recovered. <laughs> and that is sad indeed. The ego, hmm. that yapping voice in your ear, that ego would say that you've done so much good and work, you know, you've worked hard, you've made so many advances. Why not take your gifts or ideas into these situations that are in front of you? They're shining, they're blowing in the wind, they're tempting golden banners. It would be fate or destiny, says the ego. Uh -uh -uh. At this moment in time, this is not an activation of truth. Listen to that and dig it. It is not fate, nor your destiny at all. It's the ego messing with you. You're going to be shown many opportunities that look wonderful and seem to be right within your grasp. Things like love and fame and power, but don't be fooled. It's not going to work in this current cycle because we're not talking about ever, forever, or what was or what will be. We're talking about now. We're talking about this cycle. So instead, just stop. Stop. And in this pause, it's only a pause. Make this time pleasant. Oh, and that feel good, huh? Make this time pleasant. Focus on being good to yourself. This particular cycle will be short-lived. And during that time of being chill, you're going to grow a lot. Be able to come out looking carefully at all offers that come your way. Don't act on them. Don't accept things at face value. Contemplate all sides and wait in stillness for the truth to be revealed for your inner voice. That wisdom, that guru you got inside is going to show you the right way. It's about trusting your intuition. You know, we're given to make those kinds of moves because we're finding interference and in trying to get things done or trying to have your mate or your tribe or your associates understand you, and that's natural. You can see it so clearly. Why can't they see it too? <laughs> Don't try to figure it out. The why does not matter. It's just is that you are not being heard. It happens sometimes. No matter how right you are, sometimes you know it sounds like another language to somebody that they don't understand, and that gives you this opportunity to stop. If you refuse, you could bring danger on the physical plane. You could bring danger on your emotional levels where you are vulnerable. Being vulnerable is good because you've been working on both, and you've been having a hard time finding your balance, so just chill, just chill, ease up. Do not fear the darkness on this part of the cycle. This darkness, which is in the natural order of things, will pass. And you'll be left with a clarity that will give you confidence and will give you strength. Decisions that you're going to make and the actions you take out of stillness, out of this time, are going to be blessings. Decisions will lead to a time of progress abundance and fulfillment. Know that fulfillment's close. But if you don't pull up on the reins, whoa, trigger. If you don't pull up on the reins, now you would cloud your vision and diminish the energy necessary to receive and to embrace the gifts that are hidden. Walk into the mystery with no fear. The mystery is what it's about, you see. If you were to ignore this advice, which you can, you know, you're in full, in full control of things. If you were to ignore it, what you would create in this cycle would be lacking the true essence of your greater good, of the good for you, your highest good. No matter how good and forward-thinking it may be, what you're saying is going to be overlooked and it's going to be ignored. So just really chill, gain your strength, right? The appropriate conduct at this time consists of strengthening your resolve. 
You resolve to be the best person that you can be. That time of being morally and ethically strong at all times as you're moving forward. Because by strengthening your resolve, you create the elixir. The elixir that will serve you well. That elixir is to be an act with dignity and integrity and kindness and compassion. Those four magic words, dignity, integrity, kindness, and compassion, go within during these days and continue the work that must be done and know that anything new or that which looks like it would achieve glory or riches has got to be put on hold, temporary, on hold, while you regenerate yourself. You know, sometimes incredible things come towards us, but we are not, don't have our stuff together enough to receive it, no matter how good it is. If we are weak or we have not done the work or if we're exhausted, what comes your way, it's just going to go away. It's going to fly away. But if you hold on, you can activate free will. During times of obstruction like these, it will be of great benefit to play to have fun, make love, not war, and be fully in joyous celebration. I like the phrase, dance like you do when no one's watching. Do it. Maintain an open heart in your stillness. For this cycle of obstruction is going to pass. And as old thing Nan Han says, walk with peace in every step. Amen. Be good to yourself during these times. It's so important you gain your strength. So much of the world is in chaos. And we got the right thoughts. It's working. However, this section of the I Ching is telling us just to chill. Don't bring it out yet. You know, it's, and it's not only that, that you're not ready, strong enough to do it. It's the world's not ready for you. And, you know, I know we all feel that. But the, sometimes the world is not really ready for us, and we have to gain our strength, and then we come out. And when we come out, as we come out from humility, from gaining our strength, and we come out to this beautiful time, this beautiful place in our life, we're going to have these great gifts before us. And we're going to be able to take advantage of the strength that we've built up. The haiku for this week, whirling winds of change. Test how deep you have sown your seeds. We shall not be moved. That's right. Hallelujah. I spoke last week that we've got a fundraiser coming for the book. It's coming out. I've written a book of the I Ching. It's going to be something you can keep with you different from the weekly. I'm going to do a fundraiser to get it out myself. And you'll be hearing about it. Any support that you can give us, you'll see how to do it. So, as we plant our roots deeply, we listen to the wisdom of the Yi Jing, of the Yi Ching, the old Taoist thought 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 years ago. We take that walk. And we feel that so deep within us. As we come into our solitude, come into our knowingness, hallelujah, hallelujah. Namaste, my brothers. Namaste, my sisters. Be good to each other. Take gentle steps 
as you walk in the forest, you walk in the woods, you walk in the desert, you walk in the city, make sure you're not stepping on anybody's home, right? There are little homes right below your feet. Don't step on them, walk around it. Do your best not to stomp out that ant or that beetle or that bug. It'll pay off. I am the other you. And I like it that way. If you go gently into this week, take care of yourself. Love the ones you're with. Love the ones you're with. Namaste, y'all. Namaste. Namaste.